Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. In this video, I'm going to share with you a tip for using Mac OS that I've been using for years. Like many of you, I love keyboard shortcuts. The less I can use my trackpad, the better, and I'll do all I can to leverage the use of shortcuts where possible. Also, like many of you, I'm sure, shortcuts that require the use of four multiple key modifiers, such as Shift, Control, Alt and Command, can be a real pain to implement, to the point where it may be quicker to actually navigate to the menu option to find it. Now this is a tip I picked up from Brett Terpstra's blog back in 2012, and it's become so ingrained in my use of macOS, the last time I reinstalled an OS onto my laptop, I just assumed it was built in, and I forgot to add this tip in. I'm gonna show you how to modify the caps lock key probably one of the most underused keys for any power user, and turn it into the shortcut modifier that I mentioned earlier, Shift, Control, Alt and Command. Now it requires the use of some third party software called Carabina Elements, so I'm just gonna to navigate to their site. Okay, here we are at pqrs.org, and the download link for the software is just here. First though, I'm just gonna to go to the pricing tab to show you how much it costs. And as you can see there, it's open source, so there's no cost to you. However, there is an option to make a contribution to the application's development, which you can do via PayPal. Now I've made the contribution myself because I think it's a great application, but obviously it's up to you whether you wish to make a contribution. Just popping back across to the download tab, and I'm gonna initiate the download now. Now it's not a large installer file, so it shouldn't take too long, dependent on your connection. There it is, that's downloaded. I'll just go to my downloads folder and open the DMG file. I'm just going to double click the package file and I think I'll close down some of these windows around here just to make things a little easier to see. Now installed in the application is very standard. There are no surprises here. So I'm just going to click continue and enter my admin credentials where necessary. And there. I'll just put the installer file into the trash. And now that's installed, let's open it. And I'll just do that through Spotlight. Now there is an important point to note here. There are a couple of dialog boxes that pop up the first ever time you run this setup, which haven't appeared here on this screencast because, well, this isn't the first time that I've run the installer on this machine. And despite uninstalling on the various profiles I've got here, it does seem to have cached these settings, which is fine. I'll just tell you what they are. Now the first pop-up, you're guided towards the security and privacy section of system preferences, where you have to allow access for carabiner elements. Next pop-up points you towards identifying your keyboard locale. Now, as this is an application that manipulates the keyboard output, it does make sense to ascertain whether it's a US keyboard, a British keyboard, etc. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.